Following breaking news, the man accused of shooting a Scottsdale police sergeant yesterday was shot by police officers in Tempe as they tried to arrest him tonight. We just heard from Phoenix, Scottsdale and Tempe police who gave us an update. We're told the suspect, Kenneth Hearn, was shot while officers were trying to get him into custody near Baseline Road and Lakeshore Drive. He is in the hospital in extremely critical condition right now. We want to show you a look at the scenes that happened over just the last 24 hours. On the left hand side, you can see the scene from last night in downtown Phoenix as law enforcement searched for the suspect who at that time was considered armed and dangerous. Then on the right, this is a scene from this evening in Tempe where police arrested the suspect. All right, now take a look here. This all started with the suspect shooting a Scottsdale sergeant at the Union at Roosevelt apartment complex last night in downtown Phoenix. You can see that's where the officer was shot. Earlier today, that suspect was arrested and shot near Baseline and Lakeshore Drive in Tempe. We have team coverage for you on these two shootings involved in the case. Elliot Polikoff is live in downtown Phoenix where this all began last night. He's speaking to people who live in the apartment complex in that building where police, where that police sergeant was shot. But first, let's go to Casey Torres, who's live in Tempe where the suspect was shot earlier this evening. Casey, what else are police saying? So like we just heard from Tempe, Scottsdale and Phoenix police on what happened here and the shooting with an officer involved shooting here on this location. So what we are being told is that this shooting broke out around 515 just at the business center behind me on Lakeshore Drive. We're told Phoenix police were following up on a few leads here and that's when Kenneth Hearn showed up. Bullets started flying. I asked police who made that first shot and that is still not confirmed at this time as they're still investigating and we're told that no officer were hurt, but Hearn was hurt and he is in the hospital in critical condition. That is at last check from police. We did do more follow up questions as to the original warrant um, in the first shooting. Uh, we haven't heard on that. That is still being under investigation, but we did speak with people who live in this area. We heard from one man, Robert Cole, who lives just across the street. He was watching a movie. He had his window open. He said he hurt everything gets started with just a few yellings of get down again get down and this was around that 4 or 5 p.m. time frame. He looked out the window and just started seeing the shots as well. And we asked him what he saw and this is him describing the scene to us. We're nosy people so we just kind of go look out our window and uh, we hear it again, get on the ground, get on the ground and then a bunch of shots fired from multiple people is what it sounded like. It was like pop, 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 pop. And then nothing after that. And there was drones flying above us. Uh, they got the canines out. I saw a bunch of like AKs um, and then an ambulance pulled up like right here and backed in. And right now the scene is still active. They're still staying behind blocking part of this area. It's not impacting any traffic right now. Now we are being told that the FBI, ATF and multiple agencies were involved in this. We're told that Tempe is investigating tonight's shooting. So we are hoping to hear more information once um, they are learning more about this investigation as well. So we're going to be staying here and trying to see if we get more information from Tempe police. For now, reporting live in Tempe, Casey Thornton for Arizona's family. All right, Casey, big update there tonight. Before we let you go, obviously this is a big situation going on. Uh, police ended up shooting the suspect. Did they say why they, they felt the need they needed to, to, to shoot at him tonight? Right now, they said they were giving the warnings as usual, but when we asked police, they couldn't say more. I asked police if the suspect made that first shot and that was not um, able to be confirmed. So right now, the why is still not um, confirmed as to what exactly happened, but we were told that they did give the warnings um, and then that's later on what led to the shooting. Right, Casey Torres live for us tonight in Tempe. Thank you so much. Let's go to Elliot Polkoff. He is live in downtown Phoenix with more on how residents at that apartment complex where this all started just 24 hours ago are reacting. I'm sure a huge sense of relief tonight. Yeah, Emma, I do want to say that the people I spoke with, I spoke with them before we got the news that Kenneth Hearn had been arrested. But since then, I've touched base with them again. They say they are relieved that Hearn has been taken into custody, relieved that they can start to move forward from a tough past 24 hours. 
for gunshots. And I was like, that was close. Aiden Williams says he's still a little shaken by what happened at his apartment complex last night. Actually quite traumatizing. So uh, I did end up, you know, leaving. And when I left the apartment, I would say there were like four people with assault rifles outside of that unit. For Santana Castillo, living down the hall, seeing bullet holes from the shootout between 37-year-old Kenneth Turn and Scottsdale police officers was quite the way to mark his first month at the Union at Roseville. I was walking out of my door and I heard a bunch of gentlemen yelling. I couldn't really make out what was going on at first until uh, a gentleman yelled at me and said, go back inside, live rounds are being fired. It's a scene that has become a little too common for some living in this area of Phoenix. Especially lately, there has been maybe increased crime, so I'm not, I would be lying if I said this is the first time I heard gunshots. We now know that the Scottsdale police sergeant who was shot by Hearn is in the hospital doing extremely well and expected to make a full recovery. Less than 24 hours after all of this took place, a quiet, peaceful scene at the Union at Roosevelt. Something both Santana and Aiden say is part of why they have no plans to move even after this shooting. I mean, walk our dogs around every morning and evening. There's never been an issue. Um, the neighbors are very friendly. It is a city, so <laughs> things happen every now and then. I love it too much. I love all the community. Um, I know I know everybody down here. And so you take the good with the bad. Both Aiden and Santana say their biggest priority moving forward is making sure that the woman and the kid who were removed from the union at Roosevelt before shots were fired are okay moving forward. Live in Phoenix, Elliot Polikoff, Arizona's family. Uh, some relief tonight for them, Elliot. Thank you. Also know that.